Welcome to the organ room, um, a, a scene where many rehearsal processes have started um, with groups of singers um, and pianists, repetitors. This is Duncan Williams here who's working with me on Rosen Cavalier. And I thought we would start in the middle, in the middle of Act Two, um, Baron Ox. Um, Baron Ox has just found Octavian and Sophie together and we're left, um, uh, Valzaki and Anina have just, um, just gone and reported what's happened. And um, we're left with, with this noise at 133. Just five bars of orchestra. And um, there's a mixture of trombones, tuba, basset horns, clarinets, and you can hear that all immediately in the piano. And the whole thing about setting up a relationship with the pianist in the room, it's about creating an energy whereby the singers can imagine their character, imagine the feeling of the pit, but four weeks before the orchestra arrive. And I mean, even in this third bar, the tuba appears. I mean, tell me about the tuba. I mean, you spend years preparing this score. Well, it's a great sound, isn't it? It's very um, dark. And it all melds into strom legato to this extreme chord with a timpani. So you're always thinking orchestrally. orchestrally yeah. And, you know, the first time we did that, you know, we played it through. And then when we were in the scene, I remember actually just showing with Duncan a little more of the tuba line. And Richard said, ah, that's a moment where just Octavian and Sophie could just melt back into the atmosphere and really feel the presence of Ox on the scene. Let's just play it once again with that. <laughs> starts to sing and so it's the idea of creating a palette orchestral palette where the singers feel completely in the world of der rosenkavalier <laughs> What made me take up this role? That's a huge question, a great question. The opportunity that Glyndebourne gives to musicians, artists, people that are obsessed by giving, giving arts to this world. And I feel that this place, for me, it chimes with my heartbeat, my soul, the way I want to get involved with the piece of music and, and, and give it to people. And I, you know, Glyndebourne just gives me the, that sense of freedom, that sense of freedom. For me, the first time I stepped into a pit, it was, it was really a feeling of magic. I mean, I know that's, that's a young thing to say, and, but I still believe it. There's, there's sorcery that goes on. And, and I think when you take this place and you take the nature, the surroundings, and the philosophy of the people, this is what Glyndebourne is about everyone is geared towards the opera. So it's just the fact that there's, I feel in this place, that the ingredients are there for great opera. <laughs> 